Cartoon recaps here. Today I will be recapping the movie called, How to Train Your Dragon. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins in a small island called, Berk. There is a huge chaos in the village that night, as the Vikings are defending themselves from dragons attacking their village. Except for a young boy called, Hicka. He is weak, and small unlike the other Vikings. Whenever the villager sees him in the battle, they yell at him telling him to go inside. A man sees Hiccup outside and shouts at him to go inside. That man is known to be Stoic the Vast, the leader of the village, and Hiccup's father. Hiccup is only allowed to make weapons for them, together with the blacksmith leader called, Gobber. Hiccup is jealous that even his friends are all allowed to fight. And most specially the most badass of them all called, Astrid, his dream girlfriend. There are many kind of dragons that normally attack their village but the most dangerous of them all is called, the Night Fury. Hiccup believes that if he captures that kind of dragon, they will all accept him as someone worthy and allow him to fight. The battle was getting really intense to the extent of Gobber the blacksmith, going out to assist them, leaving Hiccup alone. He then decides to use the opportunity to make a move on capturing the Night Fury. Hiccup brings out a powerful weapon he is being making secretly and fires a shot. Luckily for him, he injured the dragon but didn't capture it. Unfortunately, another dragon sees him and starts to attack him. This gets his dad's attention who is busy tying down a dragon he just captured. Hiccup's father swiftly confronts the dragon one-on-one. -on -one. He punches the dragon repeatedly until the dragon escapes. Hiccup's dad is really so angry because the weapon he tried to use to capture the Night Fury, caused lots of damages in the village. He laments that whenever he is around, things always goes wrong. He then instructs Gobber to take him back home, but he uses the other door in the house to escape. Hiccup father organizes a meeting with the other Vikings. He says the only way of chasing the dragons for good is to attack their nest. And by doing so, they have to prepare themselves by getting intensive trainings. After the meeting, Gobber meets Hiccup's father asking if Hiccup will be allowed to train with them. But he replies saying that Hiccup is too weak unlike the others. That before they might even start the fight, Hiccup might end up dead. Gobber tries to convince Stoic to allow Hiccup to join them in the training, so he can get stronger. Because soon enough, the young boy will have to fend for himself. Meanwhile, Hiccup is in forest searching for the dragon he shot. On his way, he sees the dragon and gets really scared. He goes closer to it, and finds out that his weapon really captured the dragon. He is happy that he really captured the dragon and wants to kill it to show the others that he isn't a looser after all. But suddenly, he looks at the dragon's eyes only to take pity on it. He couldn't kill the dragon. Quickly, he cuts the rope from the dragon's body and as soon as he did that, the dragon pounces on him in anger. But suddenly, the dragon flies away without doing anything, but still falls down to the ground because it's still injured. Hiccup goes back home only for his father changing his mind and asks him to join them for training tomorrow. But after everything Hiccup has witnessed in the forest, he tells his father that he no longer wants to kill dragons. But instead, his father gives him a weapon, and tells him to get prepared for his training. The next day, Gobber finally begins the training and the dragons are released in front of them. They are all confused not knowing how to subdue the dragon. Every one of them are disqualified from the round, just Hiccup and Astrid left. The dragon attacks Hiccup and as it's about to kill him, Gobber intervenes and takes the dragon away. He tells Hiccup that dragons always go for the kill but Hiccup still doesn't believe that. Hiccup goes back to the forest to find the Night Fury, only to see it struggling to fly. He wonders why the dragon couldn't fly. He draws a sketch of the dragon, only to notice that a part of the dragon wings has been cut off. In the process, his pen falls off, making the dragon to spot him. Quickly he returns back home. Gobber gives them a book containing everything about dragons. But none of them are interested in it because they feel they don't need a book to kill a dragon. Hiccup opens the book to check if there is any information he can find about the Night Fury, but he sees nothing. The next day, Gobber organizes another training for Hiccup and his friends to defeat a dragon called, the Natter. The rest are making efforts to strike down the dragon. But Hiccup doesn't seem to be interested in killing a dragon. After the training, Hiccup enters the forest but this time, he takes a fish along with him and gives it to the Night Fury Dragon to obtain its trust. Thereafter gives it a name called, Toothless. He stays till dawn with Toothless and get the dragon to play games with him until in time, the dragon is able to trust him. Hiccup hurries to his room, and sketches the part of the dragon wings that is missing. And goes to the blacksmith's shop to make an artificial wing for the dragon. He later goes into the forest and offers lots of fish to the dragon, so he can use its distraction to fix the wing. Immediately Hiccup attaches the wing to the dragon, it started to fly. 
Hiccup is really happy that the wings worked but before he knew it, the dragon throws him into the lake. The next morning, Gobber sets up another training for the crew to subdue a gaseous dragon. The others are really afraid of it. But Hiccup easily controls the dragon and takes it back to its cage, leaving the rest of them at the most shocking moment of their lives. Hiccup goes back to meet the Night Fury and continue to train and bond with it. And during that, he starts to understand the behavior of dragons. He uses what they like as a trick, to subdue different kind of dragons during their trainings, earning him admiration of the other peers. Making Astrid to be extremely jealous and suspicious of him. Astrid started to spy on wherever he goes, to know what he is really hiding. Hiccup father and his men later arrives home after their defeat from the dragons. Gobber tells Hiccup's father, stoic about how Hiccup popularity is increasing in the village because Hiccup is now subduing dragons. Hiccup father thinking of it the other way round, goes to Hiccup expressing how happy and proud he is, not knowing that Hiccup aim is just to tame the dragons and not to harm them. On the final training day, Hiccup father also attends to witness how Hiccup subdues dragons. Without anyone knowing, Hiccup uses his trick to put the dragon on the floor making everyone to think he actually subdued it. Hiccup is proclaimed the winner of the training which means in his final exams, he is going to kill a dragon. While Astrid becomes more angry and jealous of him. As for Hiccup's father, he has never been too proud. Suddenly Hiccup ties to escape with the Night Fury because he doesn't want to kill a dragon. But Astrid catches him in the forest and discovers the dragon. Astrid is so terrified seeing Hiccup with the most dangerous dragon, and tries to run away. But Hiccup takes Astrid for a sunset flight to demonstrate that Toothless is harmless. Toothless unexpectedly takes them to the secret dragon's nest, where they discover lots of dragons. And the worst of all is that they saw the most biggest and deadliest dragon of all called, the Red Death. They notice that the smaller dragons continuously feed it live food to avoid being eaten themselves. Hiccup and Astrid then realizes that the dragons were been forced to attack their village for survival. Astrid wants to tell the village about their discovery of the dragon nest, but Hiccup begs her not to. Because he believes if they know about it, Toothless would be in danger. Back at the village, Hiccup has been called out for his final exams to kill a monstrous nightmare dragon. But instead of killing it, he tries to tame it and attempts to prove to everyone that dragons are harmless. His father could not believe what he is seeing, and yells at Hiccup to kill the dragon. The monstrous nightmare dragon gets angered by this, and starts to attack Hiccup. Toothless hears Hiccup cry for help, and hurries to the arena to protect Hiccup. Hiccup tries to explain to everyone that it's friendly, but it is captured by Hiccup's father and the other Vikings in the process. Hiccup begs his father not to harm Toothless and mistakenly reveals to him that he knows where the dragon nest is. Despite Hiccup warnings of his father facing the Red Death that will obviously get him killed, Stoic couldn't take it anymore and disowns his son, and gets himself prepared with his men to attack the most deadly dragon called, the Red Death. He as well chains Toothless in the ship to direct them on the location of the dragon nest. After the Vikings left, Hiccup is so disappointed about all these. But as Astrid motivates him, he regains his confidence and takes the teens to the dragon cage, and shows them how to befriend dragons. So they can help out the other Vikings. Meanwhile, Stoic and his men finally reach the dragon nest and as they are about to attack, they notice the dragons weren't attacking them but running away. Stoic men is celebrating thinking it's all over. But Stoic feels something fishy about this, and tells his men to be vigilant. Suddenly the Red Death Dragon awakens and started to attack the Vikings. Hiccup, Astrid, and the others are able to arrive in time to help out the other Vikings. He tells his friends to assist in the battle, while he go to find Toothless. As Hiccup tries to free Toothless, the Red Death Dragon steps on the ship. Causing Hiccup and Toothless to drown. But fortunately, Stoic rescues Hiccup and the Toothless from drowning. Stoic apologizes to his son and they both reconciled. Hiccup then tries to anger the Red Death Dragon, so he can lure it away. He makes the dragon to chase him really high to the clouds, and destroys it by firing a shot into its mouth, piercing its wing membranes, and then deceiving the beast into making a quick dive from which it cannot pull up. But they got a hit from the dragon while it's on the fall. Toothless shields Hiccup to prevent the heat of the explosion from getting to him. After the defeat of the Red Death Dragon, Stoic searches for Hiccup and sees Hiccup's dragon on the ground, and thought Hiccup is dead. But fortunately, Dragon had already shielded him from harm and brought out the unconscious Hiccup. After confirming he is still alive, the whole village becomes so joyful. Hiccup wakes up from unconsciousness and notice that his left foot is gone but it has already be replaced with an artificial one. Hiccup comes out and surprisingly sees everyone now getting along with the dragons, and his father and the rest of the villager admiring him. And the coolest of all is that he gets a kiss from the girl of his dreams, Astrid. 
Finally Stoic begins a new era with dragons and humans living together in peace. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel. And keep watching. Bye.